Hello, I have a quick update on Auto Controller today. The reason why it is 4.4.0 is because I've added a new program called the Shiny Pixel Checker, which notifies you if the Shiny is found. But not everyone can use this. I will explain the requirements and how to use it in the latter part of this video. In terms of programs, there is really only one update, which is the Shiny Aware or AFK version of the Shiny 5 Reggie program. Previously, you will need to pay attention to each battle and see if it's a Shiny and immediately stop the program from running when that happens. With this new version, you can leave it running and it will stop the program from running when a shiny is found. But, there is an extra step you will need to do which is calibrating the text from talking to the giant statue until the battle UI shows up. Before you do this, you are recommended to follow the requirements of fast mode, like having a non-shiny lead, no high happiness, etc. The goal of the calibration is to have two down presses right after the battle UI shows up, so that the cursor will hover on the back for a while. The default takes is 626, this is not in milliseconds, so we have to test this by trial and error. I recommend it plus or minus 5 at a time. When you go into the battle, if you don't see the two presses happen or goes to the Pokemon button, that means the ticks are too low. The program thinks the Pokemon is shiny. If the two down presses happen over 1.5 to 2 seconds after the UI shows up, the ticks are too high. Adjust the ticks number until it happens about 0.5 seconds after the UI shows up. You don't want the timing to be too tight either. When this is done, you should be good to go and you can run the program normally as before. When a shiny is found, the program should get stuck in a Pokemon summary screen, so check it once in a while. You can also test this manually by using the same lead Pokemon but a shiny instead, and it will also get stuck in the summary screen. Make sure you calibrate this for each different Reggie or when you switch your lead Pokemon, because the main thing that affects the calibration time is how long the Pokemon's cry lasts. And that's the Shiny Aware version of Shiny 5 Reggie. I know you might be thinking, what about Shiny Sword Trio program? Unfortunately, the Shiny Aware version of this is impossible. I'll explain it briefly here, but you can read more details in the manual. The main reason it doesn't work is because the loading times when you exit camping can vary over 1.5 seconds. The maximum variation time is longer than the shiny effects in the battle. If you account for the worst case scenario of the load time, it is very possible that the program will run from a shiny. You can still attempt this by editing the config.h file manually, but I absolutely do not recommend using this. It is very unstable. It is better to just check every battle manually, but this is where the shiny pixel checker comes in. So the Shiny Pixel Checker is a program on PC that I wrote which mainly helps streamers when hunting for shiny Pokemon. It can detect whether a Pokemon is a shiny or not. This doesn't stop the Arduino from running, but it can notify you to do so. It also increments a counter so that it can be read from streaming softwares, so you don't have to manually do this anymore. But to use this, you will need a capture card, or a decent webcam, and a program to display video footage from the game on PC. In my case, I'm using OBS. You can use this program pairing with Shiny 5 Reggie and Shiny Sword Trio, but it's not just limited to them. You can also use it for Egg Hatcher or even Auto Fossil. Before you start using it, you are recommended to set the DPI settings overwritten by application, since it may have scaling issues if you don't. The program works in this order. It will always constantly check a specified pixel on screen. When you press start, it will look for a start color. If that color is on a pixel for duration amount of time, that means an event is triggered. This is usually a white screen of a battle or a black screen when an egg is about to hatch. After a delayed time, the program will check the pixel and compare it with a non-shiny Pokemon color. If they matches, that means it is not a shiny and will wait for the next event. If they don't match, it can notify you to stop the Arduino from running. First, you will need to set up so that you get video feed from your Switch on your computer. I'm using a video player in this demo since it is faster to show off this way. Normally, I will be using OBS. Now, you will need to look for the part of the Pokemon on a screen that doesn't have distinct color change. Then press and hold the drag button. This will allow you to drag your cursor on the screen and move your cursor to that area. Next, you want to capture the color that stays on screen for long enough so that the program knows the event is triggered. This is not limited to white screen when battle starts, as long as it stays on screen for a while and unique enough, it can be used. Another example is before egg hatches. The black screen stays for about 1.2 seconds. When hatching is finished, there is also a black screen, but it doesn't last as long so the event will not be triggered. 
After capturing the color, you will need to specify how long it stays on screen. The easiest way to check this is to record it and check how long it lasts. For Reggie, it's about 0.8 seconds. For wild encounters like Sword Trio, it's only 0.2 seconds. And egg hatching is 1.2 seconds as mentioned. Next, you will need to record the non-shiny Pokemon color. Press the record button. This will start waiting for the event to start. When a battle begins, it will start counting a delay. When you see the color you want to check on screen, press the capture button. If the duration to start time is too long, it will not allow you to capture the color. Press abort and adjust the time. If you are using a webcam, you may need to adjust the color threshold as well. Now it should be ready to go. Press the start button and it will start checking whether each Pokemon is shiny or not. If the program gives you false positives, meaning it thinks a non-shiny is a shiny, you can check the status and compare how much different it is from your non-shiny Pokemon color. If the difference is low, you can increase the color threshold. If it is too large, you may need to find a new pixel on screen, but you will have to do the entire calibration process again. Also make sure your video footage is not obscured by anything while the program is running or moving it, otherwise it will not be checking the same pixel and cause errors. You can choose to get notified for shiny and non-shiny Pokemon, it is done so by playing sound effects. There's also a meme mode which you can try it and find out what it does. Lastly, we have the stream counter section. This is mainly for streamer or people who want to keep track of how many encounters they had. To use this, you will need to create an empty text file and choose your text file. This is only for if you want to display the number on your streaming software. It will still keep track of the count in the program even if you don't make a text file. Next, the counter is increased every time the pixel color of the Pokemon is checked. You can also change this manually. The prefix is a text you want to add before the counter on the text file. And finally, the 69 mode. If you like 69, turn this on. Nice. And that's it for this video. I hope these additional programs will help you find your shiny Pokemon. Happy shiny hunting! Peace!